So in this video, I'm going to extend on the example from the last one and build out a, a more complex banking bot with the more branches in the conversation to really demonstrate the value of contexts and how they can be used in this, in this use case. So the conversation has several levels in this bot. So the first level, we will be able to tell the bot if I want information on my accounts, information on my accounts, or if I want to close my account. Then in this branch, the next level will be to tell the bot if it's about the checking account or if I want information about my savings account. And then only in the last step, I, I will tell the bot if I want to know the balance or my account number. In the second branch of the conversation, it only has two levels. So I, I will tell the bot to, I want to close my account and then either the checking account or the savings account. And in order to realize this step-by-step -step nature of the conversation, we will add a context with every level. So in order to better understand this, I in, um, indicated that here on this slide. So for this right branch here, as soon as I tell the bot that I want to close, I want to close the account, I will add the close account context. And then as soon as I tell the bot if it's about the checking account or the savings account, then I add the checking or the savings context. For the left branch, it happens in a similar way. So I tell the bot that I want information and we add the account info context. And then in the next level, I tell the bot which account type. And again, we add checking or savings. And then in the last step, in the third level, I tell the bot if I want to know the balance or the account number, and then we add the third context. And please pay attention to how this mimics a conversation in the real world. So I'm able to basically step by step go where I want to go. So in the first step, I just say I want account information. In the next step, I say which account it is. And then in the third step, I'm able to just tell the bot account number. And then because the context of the previous conversation of what, what has been said before is still here, the context will be account info and checking account. The bot knows to trigger the intent that handles the checking account number. And uh, yeah, this is really how a conversation would flow in real life. So if I just tell the banking clerk account number, they have to ask me questions, uh, which which type of account, et cetera, et cetera. So we're really mimicking that here. However, having said that, of course, this step-by-step -step nature is not the only way that a conversation can flow. So let's say, especially if I've used the banking bot before, I might just jump ahead and tell the bot, I want to know the balance of my savings account. So we also need to be able to handle that. And um, yeah, I implemented also that in the bot that I'm gonna show you. So let's go into the demo. So first thing to notice here is we already have quite a list of intents. So I applied a strict naming convention here that uses, uh, separates the number of steps in the conversation with a dot. And then for the naming, for the words we use here, they are exactly the same as the uh, context names. And what that exactly means, I will show you now. So first of all, I added a welcome intent here. So now the bot is asking me, do you want information or do you want to close an account? So let's first go into this right branch and tell the bot close account. And now it's going to ask me, do you want to close your savings or your checking account? But it already added the context close account. So now I can just tell the bot checking account and it should go into this intent, close account and checking. So like I mentioned, the two steps in the first step or the context close account was set. And then I added checking. We added the information that it's about the checking account. And then it knows to rightly trigger this intent. And uh, it tells me, okay, your account is closed. Perfect. So now what I wanted to, what if I wanted to jump ahead, like I said before, and I tell the bot, I would like to close my savings.
savings account. So basically jumping the two layers and just telling the bot right away. And again, it's triggering close account uh, savings here. It's also able to um, recognize that. So now let's go into the left branch of the conversation. So again, starting with the welcome intent where all the contexts are erased. So I want information and then it's asking me which account. So I'm going to say checking account and pay attention to how the context here stack. So first the checking context was added, and, uh, sorry, first the account info was added, now the checking and the intent with the proper naming convention here is triggered as well. And it's asking me, do you want your balance or your account number? And I'm gonna tell it balance. And because the context of account info and checking were set before, now it knows to tell me that my checking account balance is $1,000. So then again, what if I wanted to jump ahead? I could also do that. And I will just tell the bot, I want to know my savings account number and I should have a yes I also have uh, the intent that handles this case so in this case I yeah we give the information out right away so I hope this made it a bit clearer how you can use uh, context to really make the information flow even in a branched out conversation and how, yeah, also as a side note, how the naming conventions here using your context in the intent names can also help you to really find your way in this, uh, in this bot. So in the next video, I will scale the complexity back a bit and show you how to deal with a more linear bot and connect a linear conversation with context but in the meantime please let me know in the con in the comments if you have any questions about this or if if anything is still unclear because i know it's a bit it's a complex uh, use case so let me know uh, what you made of it